And so I'm actually going to do um, part E. Now remember, it's a two-step process with these kind of problems. What I suggest you do is sketch the level curves or the contour curves, whatever is easier, and then look at some of the intersections with the vertical sort of um, coordinate planes and then combine them to give a graph. So let's have a look. 29E. Okay. Now, first of, all, first of all, notice that it's not a function, uh, I guess, of the type z equals f of x comma y. It's sort of like an implicit type relationship. Okay, you can rearrange it, but for my money, it's actually easier just to leave it the way it is. So, um, I mean, by, by what I mean is you could make z the subject and get a plus and minus square root sign, but uh, I, I didn't do it that way. All right, so... I'm just going to basically move the z to the other side. And then I'm going to construct some level curves in that x, y plane. OK, so um, to, to sketch those, all I'm really going to do is set z equal to a constant and then vary that constant. Okay, so okay, so if C's a con uh, if Z's a constant, say C, then one plus Z squared will also be the following constant. So all we really need to do is pick some convenient values for C and see what happens. So the easiest case is C equals 0. So what am I going to get for C equals 0? What's this curve going to be? A circle, right, with uh, radius 1 and center 0. If C equals 1, then we're going to get another circle with uh, radius uh, root 2 and center 0, 0, right? So no matter what that is, if I choose C equals negative 1, I'm still going to get the equation for a circle. So what I'm going to get is a whole bunch of circles that have the same centre, they're concentric, and they just have varying radi radii, depending on what um, C is. Okay, so... Uh, I guess these curves... So varying C, I'll get the following. So if C equals um, 0, I'll get that. And then say C equals plus or minus 1, I might get a curve like that. And then keep on going so there are there are level curves now note that each curve corresponds to two values of c so um, this one the the middle the middle circle might correspond to c equals 1 and negative 1 okay it's the same curve so what does that mean well when you Moving those things around, you know, you've got to pull that circle up one, one value above the xy plane and also push it down one value below the xy plane. Okay? So let, let's now look at the um, intersections of the surface with some coordinate planes. So... So I'm just going to choose um, x to be 0...
So if x is 0, I get y squared minus z squared equals 1. So what kind of curve is that bottom right-hand kind? It's going to be some sort of hyperbola, right? And so if x equals, if we're in the plane x equals 0, that's just in the yz axis. Uh, yz plane, sorry. So we're going to get something a little bit like this. Okay, so... So now somehow we have, so think in that, in that bottom right hand corner, think of the x axis, uh, sorry, the y axis coming out of the screen towards you. Okay? Now, what we've got to do somehow, and in this one the, Z, the z's coming out at you, the positive z's coming out at you. Um, we need to combine those sketches somehow to form some sort of surface. So essentially what I'm going to do is just draw a little Uh, circles in here and then draw it as a 3D sort of shape. Okay, so... Okay, something like this, where this is 1, it's minus 1. Now again, my, my, I've done my drawing very quickly. Um, you should probably spend a little bit more time if you, if you have the time on it. 